NCEA Chinese Level 3, Characters and Compounds, Unit 23. Brought to you by NZ Chinese Classroom. Hello, I'm Andy Lausche. Just a couple of reminders before we start. Make sure that you repeat after me to practice your tones and pronunciation. Pause before I give the translation of the example sentences so you can have time to work it out for yourself. And write down your own example sentence so that you really know how to use this word and get your teacher to check it as well. And write down any questions that you have so that you can discuss them with your teacher in class. Woman Kashuba. T. So, what characters do we, what words do we know this one in? Shin Ti, our body. So, it has something to do with the body. We can see um, on the left hand side we've got the person and then we've got the root. So, the root of the person is the, the body, I guess. Um, so, compounds. What do we got? Ti Nung. We know nung, nung li, means the ability to do something. So this is the physical ability to do something. So we've got here someone trying to open a, a jar of pickles. Okay, 如果你想滑雪,就需要体能. So if you would like to ski, then you need a physical capability to be able to do that. Um, so 需要, need, must have. All right. Ti yen. Ti yen. So what do you know this yen in? You might know jing yen. Um, experience. Or jing li. Which also means to experience. So ti yen is to experience for oneself. So actually being in there and um, not just hearing about China, but actually going to China and experiencing it for yourself. So this is a verb. Sometimes used as a noun as well. 我的哥哥在中国体验中国文化. So how would you translate this? So my older brother is in China experiencing Chinese culture for himself. Okay, tu, tu, first time. So have a look at this character. The top half is the cave radical and the bottom is like a dog radical. So it's like... You've got a dog in a cave and then he's waiting for some prey, something to eat, and he dashes out and grabs it. Um, so it means to jut out, to point out, um, or to dash. But um, you probably only see it in this compound. Tu ran. Tu ran. We know ran ho from ran ho, meaning next. Um, so tu ran means suddenly. So it, the next thing that happened, suddenly, dot, dot, dot. All right, something that maybe might be unexpected as well. Okay, 昨天我在看电视，突然我的狗跳起来了。So yesterday I was watching TV and suddenly my job, my dog jumped up. All right, 土, this is the the essence of of everything. It is the earth, the land, the dirt. Okay, 土地, 土地, land. So you know di fang di fang um in di chu. So what you the ninching ren henan zai xin xi lan mai kuar tu di in wei tai gui la. Take a moment to translate the sentence. Tong yi ma. So I think that young people find it difficult um in New Zealand to buy a piece of land because it's too expensive. Notice the measure word used yi kuar yi kuai a chunk of land. Ni tong yi ma, do you agree? One, very uh, common one, to finish. So this can be used on its own or as a result complement, so after a verb to show that it's finished. So, zuo wan le ma, shi wan le ma. A couple of examples, have you finished? Have you eaten? Finished eating. Um, yeah, so see here that comes after the verb zuo and after the word, verb chu. All right. Wan cheng, this means to complete or to accomplish something. So, wan cheng, zuo ye yi ho, wo ke yi kan dian shi. So, after completing or accomplishing the homework, I can watch TV. It's kind of the um, the formal word, for, instead of just one, sometimes they have a formal word and they use wan cheng to mean finished or complete. Okay, wan mei. So it's finished and it's beautiful. So this means perfect. 
。今天天气很完美，天很蓝，温度很暖和。So today's weather is perfect. It's very perfect. You can even put very perfect.、Um, the sky is blue and the temperature is very warm. Wang, net. So Wang Mi, we know、uh, Chiu Mi is a ball game sports fan, but this one has a negative connotation. Someone that is addicted to the internet. They're a huge fan of the internet, but so much so that they're addicted to it, and it's not a good thing. So Wang Mi. So 不要当网迷 So don't become a computer addict or an internet addict. Wang Chiu, tennis. 我很喜欢打网球。Nina, you should know that one. Some more examples: 网页 So 页第几页 Opening the, the turning the page. What page is it? So 网页 is an internet page. 看这个网页有很漂亮的衣服 Maybe doing some online shopping. Look, this internet page has beautiful clothes. Okay, 网友 You know 朋友 So this is a 网友 An internet friend. 我有一个网友，他住在中国。I have an internet friend, and he lives in China. But be very careful with internet friends, all right? Okay, Wang Jian, Wang Jian. So you know, Jian is to stand or it's a station. So an internet station is a web page. No, a website. The okay, English 的网站和中国的不一样。So English websites and Chinese websites are not the same; they're different. Do you agree? Have you been on many Chinese websites before? And what do they look like compared to an English website? Are they set out differently? Do they look different? What differences or similarities can you find? All right. To follow up, write down any questions that you have. Get onto Quizlet to practice these words. Complete the reading activity for this week. Any grammar activities and prepare for the unit test. Until next time, 再见。